What is up, guys? My name is Echerno, or Jan, you know, because the Echerno's not really on my, on my birth certificate, but whatever, you can call me Jan if you want. Um, and welcome to something completely different. Welcome to uh, the first video of a series of videos in which I am going to attempt, or we are going to attempt, to create a, a 3D game in Java from scratch using no game engines, using no OpenGL interfaces like LWJGL, Lightweight Java Game Library. Um, nothing except the inbuilt libraries into Java 1.6, okay? So, from scratch, from zero, from this, from not even a project. Um, and yeah, so at this rate, probably like a first-person shooter or something like that, you know, we'll see, we'll see how this goes. Um, now, I assume that you guys have a bit of knowledge, have a, you know, a bit of knowledge of Java, you know, you've done a bit of Java, maybe. Um, I don't expect you guys to be able to write your own programs, but, um, I just want you guys to understand the syntax. If you don't, or if you've done no Java but you really want to or whatever, um, there'll be a link in the description of this video um, that will link you to the new Boston's Java tutorials because they are really good. They're the best tutorials on YouTube in my opinion um, on on Java. Um, and that's not how I learned, unfortunately, but um, I do I do tell everyone to to go look at them if they're interested in learning. Um, so yeah, uh, okay, let's start. This is Eclipse, by the way. Um, Eclipse is, in my opinion, the best IDE for Java. Um, an IDE is sort of like a program which really like helps you helps you write code because it it um, it compiles it for you. You know, it lets you debug the code. Um, it shows you all the errors in your code. There's a nice little outline over here. Um, you know, and it it's basically it's you you need to have one of these. Um, I've used other ones like Java Beans and IntelliJ IDEA. I actually used the latter for a while, but Eclipse is, in my opinion, the best. And also, you know, Notch uses it. <laughs> it's going to be a major selling point. Um, Minecraft was made on it, so there we go. It's good. Um, yeah. So first thing we're going to do is create a new project. So oh, by the way, if you want to download Eclipse, there'll be a um, there'll be a link in the description of this video where you can download it. Um, for Windows, for Mac, for Linux, anything you want. Um, Java works everywhere, unlike, you know, C++. Um, so yeah, I'm going to create a new Java project file, new Java project. Um, we'll be using 1.7, I think that's still in beta, I'm not sure, but um, anyway, we're going to be using 1.6, so make sure it's on 1.6. Um, I'm going to call this project Mindfront, because Mindfront is actually a game that I'm working on, and I can't think of any other name at the moment, so Mindfront it is. Um, and yeah, just type, type a project name, you can type whatever you want and hit finish. It's going to create a new project over here, as you can see. Um, yeah, so the first thing we need to do is create a new class. Now a class um, is basically like a group of code. Um, it's because what, 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 what we need um, in the beginning is like a class to basically tell the program, okay, what we want to do is create a new window. We want to put, you know, our content in the window, you know, all of that stuff. We need, a, we, need a, we need a group of code which tells us to sort of initialize the program and later on initialize the main game loop which will update, you know, however many times per second, frames per second, all that stuff. We'll, we'll get to that soon. Um, I'm just going to call this um, display. Because this code will sort of be all our, all about display um, stuff in, right in here, and we want to put it into a package. Now, it's the, I've so, I've thought about how to describe this, and in my opinion, I think the best way to describe this is probably to um, to say that you don't want to leave your source code out in the front garden. You sort of want to put it into the house and into the kitchen um, or the bedroom. You know, it's not necessarily a woman. Uh, so yeah, you could put it into the bedroom instead of the kitchen. Um, but yeah, and the way that we do this is we sort of dots are like backslashes or forward slashes or whatever. But in Java, they're dots. They indicate folders. So inside com, there'll be a folder called mime, and then there'll be a folder there called mindfront. So I'm just putting it into a series of fo folders. This is just good practice in Java. That's what everyone does. Um, I would create this, um, but I'm going to type it by hand. Um, I'm going to type it, you know, just in front of you guys so that you can see exactly what I'm doing. Um, yeah, so once you've filled out a package and once you've filled out a name for the class, hit finish. And first thing I, which bugs me, 
is that we don't have line numbers, so I'm just going to go ahead and whoop. Where are we? Editors, text editors, show line numbers. Okay, so it's in general editors and then text editors, show line numbers, and now we got we know how many lines of code we've typed, um, or how many exist anyway. So yeah, that's the first useful thing. Okay, so basically what I want to do today is I want to um, just create a window. That's that's our that's our goal for this video basically, because I really want to explain this in as much detail as possible. Um, which is going to be hard if I type a lot of code, and I've thought about this a lot, and this is actually my third time trying to record this because it ends up being like half an hour long, I'm not even joking. So all we want to do here is create a window. So the way we do this is we want to create two integers. Int stands for integer, it's a keyword in Java. Um, we need to give that a name, so we'll call it width, and then we want to set it equal to an integer, so to a number without decimal points, 800. Okay, that's how wide we want to have it for now, we can change that later. Um, we also need to create an integer for the height. Oh, and by the way, I'm doing this like I'm doing this completely off the top of my head. Like all this game programming stuff, this will pretty much be, um, you know, live, I guess, on the fly. So I don't know what I'm creating yet. We'll we'll work we'll work on it together. Um, so yeah, so I'll I'll probably go back and fix some things and explain why I'm doing that and so on and so forth. Um, the other thing we want to do is we want to create a main method. So public static void main. Create a nice array of strings. Um, okay, and basically, what this this is like this method is like a group of code inside the group of code. Um, and the reason we have to create this one is when our program starts, it looks for the main method. Um, and the thing is that it'll it'll do it'll execute whatever code is inside here. Like it'll obviously execute everything, but it will it will sort of start over here, and this basically, okay, it's really hard to explain. Basically, you need this to run a program. You need this method. Um, if you don't know what a method is, again, link in the description to the new Boston's tutorials. They're excellent. View them. They're really good, and they'll really help you follow along with this. Um, okay, so the first thing we need to do is we need to create an object of this display. Actually, first of all, let's just extend canvas. Canvas is an inbuilt, it's an inbuilt thing into Java of Java ORT. AWT, um, and this will help us. This will. This is pretty much required in order to um, create a window. Um, display game equals new display. Okay. So what what I'm doing here is I'm creating an object. Um, Java is an object-oriented programming language. So first thing we need to do is we need to create an object of this class called display. We've named the object game. So and yeah, so basically we've got now 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 we can work with something and we, and when whenever we want to sort of call this display, we use the keyword game because that's what we've wrote. You could call this the churno. You could call this you could call this whatever you want, okay? It doesn't matter. We're going to just going to call it game just so that it's easy for us to know. Um next thing we want to do is we want to create a JFrame. Now, a JFrame is um it's like a frame. It's like a window but in Java. It's called a JFrame. Um, and we need to import it as well. It did it automatically. I don't know. I don't even know how that works. Sometimes it imports stuff automatically. Sometimes it doesn't. Whatever. Okay. So now we've got a frame. Um, first thing we need to do in order to create the frame is let's just go frame dot. Actually, no. Frame dot add game. So we're adding this into our game. Um, this isn't actually needed for now, but we'll we'll work on that later. Um, frame dot set resizable to false. We don't want to be able to resize it. Um, notice I'm using the word frame. That's because we, we've set frame over here. If I, again, call this ch the cherno, then I'd have to, you know, change all this into the cherno. And that would still work, of course. But I'm just going to leave it as frame. Frame dot, what else do we want? Set visible. We want it to be visible. True. Um, we want to set a size to it, that's for sure. And the size will be width, height. Okay, what are you erroring me? Oh, yeah. Um, public, static, final, int. Um, public is like the, the, v, the view thing, so it, it sort of, it's, it's specifying who's going to be able to view that number view that integer. Static means it's a constant, you know, it's not, it's not going to change. Final means that it can't be changed either, um, because we don't want our size to change at any point, at least for now. Um, 
And yeah, that, that should be... Let's just hit... Okay. You want to hit this debug button at the top, and that will debug your code. That will show you code. Okay, awesome. Wonderful. We've got a frame. Uh, at only 10 minutes. Well, I'm running overtime. <laughs> it doesn't matter. We'll keep going. Um, so we've got a nice frame here. Um, yeah, okay. We need to add some code right now called frame dot set default close operation to jframe dot exit on close. Uh, this is really this is really important because basically um, what's going to happen is oh, I'll show you guys. If we try and change the width and height, by the way, it's just gonna oh, okay. It's not gonna do it in this case, but um, it's not going to. I'll just debug this. It's still running, as you can see. It's it hasn't been terminated yet, so you need to manually terminate it in that case, um, which is not good because basically what what we want to do is every time we hit that close button, we want it to terminate itself. And the best way to check this is if we just simply print system dot print line oh, system dot out dot print line. Um, what are you doing? Print line. And we can print you know, running. Then, um, if we hit debug, then you'll see that it says running. And when we close this, it's not it's not going to be terminated. We'll have to manually terminate it. But if we add this code in, that's a comment by the way, double forward slash. If you guys don't get anything, just really don't hesitate to to leave a comment or ask me um, what's up. But seriously, look 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 at the look at the new Boston's tutorials. If you don't understand this, it's they're very good. Um, yeah, so we'll, yeah, and now you'll see that if we hit the exit button, it's going to terminate for us, which is wonderful. Other thing that bugs me at the moment um, is the location relative to null. That'll actually make it in the center of our screen. Okay, sometimes you got to put the, oh, one more thing we have to do is pack the frame. Okay. Don't worry about this. It's supposed to be in the middle. Sometimes you got to put it under something. I don't know. It's dodgy. There we go. Um, one more thing we'll do before we finish this video is we'll create a title. Um, and we'll also create a default serial version ID. Don't worry about that. That's a Java thing. Um, so let's go public static final string this time. So string is a, a bunch of characters. It's like a sentence or a word, whatever. And we'll call this... Uh, title we'll call it we'll call it, we'll call it string title and we'll call it I don't know mine front pre -rel, pre alpha 0 0.01 whatever just make it sound cool um, and of course we need to go frame dot set title and title and there we go if we hit debug you'll see that we have mine front pre alpha 0 0.01 on the screen um, okay and yeah that's pretty much it um uh yeah, so that's been the first tutorial. Um if you guys don't understand anything, let me know in the comments and if you if you want more, like the video. Um add it to your favorites, do whatever you, do whatever you want. Um and yeah, so next time we're gonna we're gonna look at the at the main game loop and basically we're gonna just move on and continue making this game from scratch. So I'll see you guys later. Bye.